Hello guys, I'm going to so show you how to make a simulation so that you can get a characteristic wave of a diode using PISPICE. I hope you have already installed PISPICE in your computer, just go ahead then and open PISPICE, Smatex. Zoom in for a better view. First, for the circuit, we need a DC power source, so just go ahead and type VDC, press enter, and you get a DC power source now you need a diode I'm going to use here D1 and 914 but there are other diodes which you can use but for this tutorial I'm going to use this one you can rotate the diode use pressing control R so there you go so there is one thing you should know that this is the negative terminal of the diode and this is the positive terminal of the diode so when you're making connections make sure that the positive side of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the source and the negative ter part of the diode is connected to the negative terminal of the source if it's not like that your circuit is not going to work so make sure you do it correctly now we need a resistance just go ahead and type R press enter go now we need to wire them all right there you go now you need the ground don't forget to get the ground or it's not going to work After that, you need to add the value for the power source. I'm going to use a 2 volt, but you can use any volt you want. I'm going to keep the default value that is 1k for the resistance, but you can give any value you want. So, after this, go to the setup analysis, select DC strip, give a start value. I'm going to give here 0 volt, you can give any. And for the end value, it n must not be greater than the value of the voltage source that you're given in my case it is 2 volts so I'm going to keep it exactly 2 volt and you can increment it by any value you want but for me I'm going to increment it by 0 0.2 of course give it a name I'm going to give the same name as my power so that's V1 okay close it before we go and hit the simulate button we need to save it. So just go ahead and save it. Now you hit the simulate button. Well, you cannot see anything here. We have to do some more work. Go to the plot, go to axis settings, make sure that the x axis tab is selected, go to axis variable, select V1D that is you need voltage for the diode so just select it press OK and here is the option you can see user define you can use this to give your own defined value from for the graph so for me I'm just going to keep it auto range then click OK after that go to trace address and now you need the current for the diode so just select it because the graph is going to be diode current versus diode voltage so after selecting it you can see it has come here now press OK here you go this is your characteristic wave for the diode that is included in your circuit that is D1N914 now if you want to use this graph somewhere else you can just go to window click to copy the clipboard and press OK and then paste it by paste it anywhere like in Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint just by pressing Control V so that's it thank you for watching